Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Hard Reset Redux. This is a game that is in the action adventure genre. It is like a first person shooter, and it's a uh, remake or a uh, redo of a game that came out in the late 2011, early 2012s uh, that I never really got to play. So this is going to be a brand new game for me, but it is a game that has been out for a while. And what they ended up doing was going back and upgrading some of the stuff. They a, fixed a lot of the you know things that were broken with it they've added some patches to it over the years they've actually added some download content to it as well and that's all in here now some people have said they have mixed reviews on it where the graphics aren't quite as good as they used to be and since i've never played the original you're gonna have to make that decision for yourself if you decide to watch this it's uh, released in june uh, 3rd of 2016 selling for 19.99 at the moment and it's developed by flying wild hogs and uh Gam gambitious digital entertainment is who, who published it i you know i'm sorry if i mispronounced your name on that one but uh it looks pretty cool now i am going to show you a little bit of the stuff that you can do in the options just because when i do uh, these videos i like to show you guys some of the stuff that you may not ever get to see otherwise the video settings are fairly uh, straightforward you can change your vertical field of view which is always really nice for first person shooters i don't really want to mess with that until i kind of play the game and find out if i really want to do that gamma settings are at one if it does look a little dark guys let me know and i'll up that up a little higher i can enable full screen mode but that it messes up with my uh my recording engine so i try not to do that if i don't have to uh display you can see my graphics drivers and the refresh rate is kind of stuck at that one uh you can see the resolution uh, triple buffering vertical sync uh anti-analyzing graphic quality is at ultra that's the highest you can possibly have it does have a custom setting but that custom setting uh doesn't really do anything other than uh allowing you to have it at ultra or wherever you want on that one audio Audio is pretty straightforward. You can have your global volume, your music volume, and your voice volume. Uh, mine were changed from where it started. All of them, I think, were at like 100. I changed mine just so that you guys will be able to hear my voice when I talk to you guys and play the game at the same time. Controls, on the other hand, allow you a lot of different stuff on here. Use, pick up with a tackle key. I don't know if I need that. I'm pretty sure I probably will, but I'm going to leave it unchecked because that's how it was for default. I can invert it. I can smooth it out. Uh, the... The pad settings, I can do the layout of the button stick, so I can change all of that if I really want to. Aim assist is on because that was uh, default. I probably will change that later on down the road. Invert is not on, but I might change that depending on how the keys are set up. And vibration, so it gives you a few little options in there, which some games don't even do. This one definitely did. And then you got your uh, game HUD that you can go on there and you can look at uh, the different stuff in their language. You can change that from whatever... Uh, which ones they got the german french polish and russian are some of your other options enabled checkpoints enabled hands i'm gonna leave that on and uh some of the other stuff like the disable blur effect i'm not really sure what that does but it sounds kind of cool so i'm gonna leave it on for now let's see we're gonna go ahead and go with a new game on here actually before we do that let me check extras i didn't even go into that one to see what the extras were uh, art book, movies, credits, and back. Let's look at the art book real quick. I do apologize. If you want to see the game, uh, you're more than welcome to skip ahead past all this. 8% uh, unlock, page 1 out of 5. The Art of Hard Reset, a visual journey. Let's do next image. Wow, these look beautiful, man. I, I gotta give my hat off to these uh, artists that come up with pictures like this and create games. Uh, you know, your imagination really is what makes these games so beautiful and such a joy to play okay so that's all of those let's look at the movies see what the movies do flying wild hog and uh let's let's see what it is it might just be like a little intro to um i don't know i, I have no idea what this could be but we'll check it out <laughs> maybe that's just their their little uh intro for their company let's look at uh at theirs Woo, okay it's a little fast paced a little bit uh, a little bit hectic but i like it it's kind of cool now let's look at these oh wow <laughs> Woo, it's a little loud too all right so there you go that is the the movies that are on here to start with let's uh let's show credits real quick just to kind of uh give you guys an idea of who did this we're not going to go through all of these because at the very end of the game, we'll go through each and every one so you guys can see it. But I do want to show some of the, the starting ones just so you guys can see some of the um, 
you know, top guys that were involved in this one right here. There's going to be tons of people. These games always take a buttload of people to actually create and give to you. All right, here's the new game. I do apologize. Five minutes just messing around with uh, the settings and stuff, but I wanted to show you guys that. We're going to go with normal. I don't, I've never played this game, so I don't want to go with hard or insane, but if you are a uh, player of the original, you might want to go with something a little bit more difficult. January 17, 2436. Sector 6, European District, Bazaar City. Have someone join me after the shift is over. I don't like to drink alone. Most of the days are like this. I'm a proud soldier of the corporation. Others like me are made by the PR department to be sentinels of the sanctuary, the defenders of Bazaar. Amusingly, I do it for the money. We defend the sanctuary, a network that holds billions of digitalized personalities of human beings. The machines are our enemy. The corporation's eggheads proposed a theory implying the existence of an unsurpassable evolutionary limit of the current AI. The sanctuary is the possibility of the machines to break this limit. Is Pulso really a term they're going to be using in the future? I don't even think kids nowadays even know what it means, but uh, that was kind of a cool little intro. I liked it. More comic booky feel than the uh, screenshots that I've seen of the game. The game looks absolutely fantastic with the graphics, so it's going to be interesting to see if they go down that route. I guess it says press any key to continue. Uh, let's see. This sector has been compromised. Get to the breach. Investigate. And gather evidence on arrival. Wow. Okay, so it does move quite fast. And that's one of the things they were saying. It's a very fast-paced game. All right, get to the breach. Use L to move. You can use either the CLN Firearm X or the NRG Weapon B. Press right trigger to attack. So X or B. Ooh, yeah, doggy. Let's check this out. Holy crap. I like that. Let's go with X. That seems a little bit more accurate. This one seems like it sprays all over the place. I'm not sure I like the uh, the rifle or the plasma. Does plasma recharge? No, so I have a finite number of rounds for each one of them. All right, let's see. Left bumper is rifle and plasma, so I can switch it that way if I really need to. Right bumper doesn't do anything. Left trigger doesn't do anything. D-pad up, get to the breach so that sees uh, my objectives. D-pad down. It's flipping something. Oh, the light. So I got my light on the D-pad down. Uh, clicking on the joy pads don't do anything. That might be run. No, it actually seems like I am perpetually on fast run speed. Okay, so A button is to jump. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting the feel for the uh, the, the settings. And what does what? SBNC World News. Are they going to show me anything? It's going to be like the news coming on? Uh, I think it might be. Let's see what they do there. No? No, nope, they're not going to show me anything. At least not yet. Maybe once I get to a certain checkpoint. Let's see. What does it say? Uh, da, 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 da. Not really able to see it. That looks like some kind of explosive, especially with the words written on it. Explosive. Woo! Yeah, look at the colors. Can I reload? No, I can't reload. And I can't zoom in either. Left trigger usually will zoom stuff in. Oh, there we go. We got some commercials going on. <laughs> not really uh, the greatest commercial ever. It's not really doing anything, but there we go. 
Whoa, now that looks like some sort of a trap. Oh, you know what? It's this. Ah, oh, that is cool. And then it explodes. That is kind of a neat little trick. Gotta make sure you can shoot electrical objects to electrocute nearby enemies. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it. Hint, hint. There's no enemies there, but... There we go. Now, what is this green stuff? That might have been something we could have picked up to level up or something, but I don't even know if uh, you level up in this game or if that's even going to be a thing. Definitely some explosives there on the ground. I don't know who built this city, but they're leaving some dangerous stuff laying around all over the place. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You guys can run it. Oh, no. Uh, well, I was going to use some traps. I wanted to kill them all clever-like, but that didn't work. Let's see, 50... Oh, and the other one, what is plasma? Oh, I bet it is. No? No, it's not. I don't know what that's for, then. Hmm, can I look at it a little closer? It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Oh, yeah, I'm kicking it. What's in here? Like a melt card? I like how everything can be moved. Weapons don't really show like they have too much of effect on them, but everything else seems to uh, to be movable. Mm -hmm. Press A to jump over obstacles. I'm just looking around, guys. I want to I wanna check out my surroundings, make sure I don't miss anything. Wish I could jump up there, maybe find like a secret or something. Alright, let's jump over this stuff. What do we got? Hint. Gather the NATO currency and spend it on weapon upgrades and combat gear in the X HX-10 upgrade machine. And that's what this is, huh? So we got 50. Oh! Okay, you know, he's just gonna be a little kamikaze and blow himself up on top of me. Where's my life? Is it the green bar? I think it might be the green bar. Yeah, because that doesn't change. The yellow bar seems like it's ticking up as well. That might be some sort of shield or something along those lines. Shoot the explosive barrels to get a secret area. Oh, nice. Holy crap. That was massive. And there's a little bit more money over there, too. What is this? What is that? Let me look at it. This is cool. This reminds me of, like, Dune. Or Doom, I should say, not Dune. All right, so we picked up some of our health, which is the green one, I guess. The shields are the yellow. And then uh, some ammo as well. But nothing else, huh? Hmm. I was hoping for something over here. Alright, let's go a little forward. We're going to jump over this. What are we... You can disable the hints in the game. Uh, no, we're going to leave that on. We'll leave the hints for now. Can I get their attention? I was hoping they'd come back and I can use this, but it doesn't seem like they want to come this way. Where'd you guys go? I think they went upstairs. Anything down here? Yeah, explosives. Here they come. They might be coming back down. Uh, sounds like they might be. Where are you guys at? Yep, here they come. Let's see if they come down this way. Get them! Get them! <laughs> yeah! That is what I am trying to do right there. I want to use my, my little ability things more than anything else. I'm going to blow crap up too. Just see if it will... Is that a car alarm that I just went off? There you go. Will it open up any uh, any secret spots for me? No, it doesn't look like it's going to. I just kind of waste a little bit of ammo there. Ooh, what is that? Now, well, I don't. You know, it's cool that they're throwing just like weird, random stuff in, even if it actually isn't used in anything. I just like that they took the extra effort. What is this? I do hear some enemies. Where are you at? I thought I heard them there. All right, check out the boards. Anything important here? Mm, Marcus Remus? No, 8th of April. Uh, Disco Boys, huh? wonder if they're actually a band. Skits and Rooney. Let's see, we got some graffiti up on the wall. Sector 6. Where are you at? Okay, well, you know these guys. There you go. Yeah. I wonder if you get an ability or a special, special, uh, you know, sort of uh, badge if you just kill everybody in one level with nothing but these little special things. <laughs> Shot the screen. All right, your mind will last forever. 
over da, 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 three, six, what is that? One million people gained immortality joining our program. Don't let your body restrict you. Live forever. Have you ever considered becoming immortal? Join our personality. Ah, and it restarted. I shop, therefore I am. Hmm. The immortal wards of Plato, right? No, I don't think it was quite that way. So this is what they look like. Holy crap. Who would design this? And for what? Oh, is there something above me? Oh, there is a ship up there. <laughs> but why would you design this? It must be the machines that designed that by themselves. That is just wicked looking. Oh, yeah. I love the wind. What is this? Butts? That looks like a giant butt. So, butt... Butt naked call... What is that? 0789 new... New do, 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 a peril. Hmm. Some kind of weird <gasps> shop. Uh, yeah. I feel sorry for you, dude. Especially since your arm is like twitching. Oh, we got zombies, guys. Where are you at? What on earth is going on with you, dude? Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be happening like that, guys. Let's see if I can get him to stop. Let's go with the other one. Nope. Nope. Doesn't seem like he's, uh... His arm is literally stuck in the rock. That is kind of crazy looking. Wow, this is a beautiful city, though. Gotta give him credit. Alright, so there's something in there. How do we get up there? I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time. Where are you at? Ooh. Achievement unlocked. Naughty. Come on, bring it on, dude. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Oh, maybe not too much. Are we, are we doing anything? I don't even know if we're hurting this guy. I think we are. There we go. Wow. You need to disable the energy barrier. Follow the cables to find the control panel's power supply. All right, so we need to disable the energy barrier. Man, that used nearly all my ammo on that guy, and I don't know if... Press to check or... Ex hmm. Let's see, does it tell me how... Follow the cables and find the control panel to the supply. Where are the cables? I do not even see the cables, guys. <laughs> but you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and end the first episode here. And we're going to continue on after uh, I mess with the settings a little bit. Because I do want the sound to be a little bit lower. And the, uh, the graphics I think I'm going to mess around with too. Because I am kind of seeing a little few glitches here. So we may restart it and come back into it. But again, guys, I do want to thank you all for watching. This has been an episode of the Hard Reset Redux. Uh, brought to you by Flying Wild Hogs. Or developed, I should say, by Flying Wild Hogs. And it's a pretty cool game so far. It's a first-person shooter, and I'm liking it. So I cannot wait to get back into it and try it again. As always, guys, I'm AC Gamer, and I definitely will catch you all next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.